G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn about the rendering settings in order um, first, in order to um, go ahead with these tutorial series. As um, before, we see the materials. We have to know about the rendering side and the rendering settings of cycles. Now, before we do anything, we want to um, go to the user preferences, go to system and check none to CUDA. Just um, if you have a NVIDIA enabled device that um, has CUDA on it, um, click it so you can have GPU rendered um, renders. Um, also, um, quickly, just uh, click on the corner, bring it down to open up a new window and go to the node editor. This is just to set um, yourself up for the next tutorials. So, what are the rendering options we have here? Alright, first let's go to the render um, box. Um, here we have device. Um, to change it from CPU to GPU enabled, click on CPU to GPU. My GPU is acting a bit weird at the moment, so I'm just going to leave it to CPU to render. Um, to see the rendering, all we have to do is click this icon from wire to rendered and to click back. Um, next we have dimensions. Dimensions is pretty much the uh, the resolution of your render. Mine is currently set to 100% since I like getting the most out of my previews. Or you can set it to 50%. For the t sake of this tutorial, put it to 50%. Um, next um, is your output. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, make sure you put your output to where you want it. Also, if you're shooting with PNG, make sure you change it from 8-bit to 16-bit. The next uh, important thing is the sampling. <coughs> the sampling is how much, um, how many um, samples you're taking in your scene. So right now, um, we have uh, four options, Seed, Clamp, Render, and Preview, and Progressive. Uh, check progressive if you want the best out of um, uh, the sampling of light. Um, pretty much something that you should always check. You should always have checked unless you're doing very um, extremely um, pre-vis work. So the seed is pretty much your noise pattern of your render. If you uh, you can have different noise patterns for each. Um, um, it's something that's very useful. Let's just say you're rendering an animation um, and you have a really low uh, sampling. Um, the noise will have the same pattern and not a different one in each time. It's something that I wish all renders would have, um, but it's very useful for um, cycles. Just leave it at zero for now. Um, next we have a uh, render. The render is how many um, the F12 render samples will have. So if we were to press render right now, it would only render 10 samples. Where, if we render it in the viewport, it would render past 10 samples. Um, the uh, rendering, uh, the preview are always set to a high number and the uh, rendering are set for a low number. Uh, the clamp is pretty much um, the, uh, the, the, uh, the noise, uh, getting rid of most of the noise that's presented within the scene. Um, next is your light pass. Light pass is pretty much the integrated to your render kernel. Uh, we have three options, three built-in options here: um, direct lighting, full globalization, and limited. Um, let's see the differences within each of the rendering kernels. So we have direct lighting. As you can see, not many paths are taken into account, and the glass looks really biased. It looks really black, as not much light paths are being put into it. Also, no caustics are being shown. Uh, limited global elimination um, is a much more um, has a lot more light pass within the uh, materials, but it uh, sacrifices the quasics yet again. However, with full global elimination, the quasics um, is checked off, and as you can see, there is a extremely more unbiased uh, render, not fully unbiased as this is a unidirectional rendering engine. Um, but 
let's see what happens if we change it by ourselves. Let's change everything to, let's change the color. And let's change this to, let's just say a thousand. Or one, two, four. And we copy and paste this for each. As you can see, it's a lot more lighter. Um, it will become a lot more slower since it's taking more uh, bounces into account. But you will get a much more, I would say, realistic render. So previews, direct lighting, full the work, um, full global illumination. Uh, the next is the performance. The performance isn't really much of a cycles based um, uh, option. It uh, also works with the rendering engine. But um, here's a little uh, here's a little tick as you can save your work. Here we have threads. The threads is how much threads your CPU has. Mine has 12. As of right now, it's on auto detect. I can put it to fix to let's just say six if I want to you know do some internet browsing. But if I put it to 12, it will use up all of 12. The um, tiles is the amount of tiles that's been rendered. As of right now, each thread is rendering one tile, and the tiles is 64 by 64. However, if I change this to 100, to 100, the um, tri the uh, squares will be a lot more bigger. Uh, you also have these options: acceleration structure, dynamic, and static. I usually pick static as it is a um, it renders my image much more faster. But keep in mind, it's um, for um, it, it is pretty much for static base meshes. Um, the dynamic is for moving mesh. Um, um, that is performance uh, for the rendering um, rendering settings. Um, all you have to do is keep uh, these four options handy towards yourselves. Um, and just change them to your likings depending on your project and project uh, demands. Thanks for watching this video and next we'll be focusing on the three basic textures.